Fold it. Fold it. No, no, no. Fold. Sergeant First Class Roberto Garza yeah, is a back. master Good gunner, again. a tanker. Good. Now charge it. A 19-year Army veteran who's done a lot, but says showing Afghan soldiers how to operate machine guns is a first. I rate this pretty, you know, it's pretty high uh, on, on my career as far as uh, things I've done because I've never had the opportunity to be an advisor before. A Texas native, Garza says when he heard about security force assistance teams, he volunteered. Okay. He loves what he does. Press it, press it hard. Press it and hard. says the M250 is a real prize. It's what I do, I train weapons. So for me, I love this. Close the cover. The goal is to make sure the soldiers understand there's a whole lot more to the M250 than just point and shoot. Don't worry, do it again. <laughs> The classroom is an outpost in Regional Command East at the edge of Combat Outpost Sabari, a volatile and unpredictable area where odds are the training will be put to use. There you go. Garza looks to create an Afghan trainer proficient enough to take over and train other Afghan soldiers. The 250 is just the start. Oh, next we'll move on to the 240 Bravo, M240, which is another machine gun, cruise air weapon, and spray weapon. There you go, push it all the way. As Afghanistan moves closer to securing itself, lessons like this Don't and worry, experts like again. Garza give Afghan security forces the skills and techniques that they need to lock and load there you go. with confidence. Gil McCabe, Afghanistan.